It started when they ordered everybody to evacuate. Me being hard-headed, I didn't want to leave. Everything I own is in there. I'm 52 years old. Um, and then before I knew it, the water came. The, the, the windows busted out and thousands of gallons of water came in. And within a matter of 30 seconds, I was up to my chest in water. Um, and the, the house, actually, the basement apartment where I lived, the back room caught fire. Um, this, there was flames coming out of the outlet. Um, there was no way I could stay there. I had to get out. Um, so I grabbed my briefcase with my army papers and um, my dog, and I tried to get out this, this way, and I almost drowned because when I came out, the waves, the boardwalk came, knocked me down, tore my arm. I got a real nasty gash across my shoulder. Um, and I, I was pretty close to dying. Had I stayed in, I probably would have drowned. Um, the water went over my head, and if you go in there now, you'll see it's at like six or seven inches from the ceiling. Um, everything is destroyed. I lost everything. All the water receded, um, so it's pretty mucky, and there's probably like a foot of sand in there right now. But um, it's my apartment is totally destroyed. And the apartment goes all the way in the back, but in the back is where the water started coming in at first. Um, it came right through the windows, right through the walls, and through the floor. I was scared of a lot of things, but this really spooked me. Um, I'm just too old to start all over again. I just don't have it in me anymore, because I only have what I have on my back. Um, and these aren't even mine. The jacket is my son's and the pants is my younger son's. So I actually lost everything in here. Everything is gone. I don't have anything left, nothing. I don't even have a toothbrush. Um, I never expected the Rockaways to be hit. I mean, I knew we were gonna get hit, but I didn't think it would be this bad. And we got, we got obliviated. Um, but you know what? I feel like, you know, we're gonna, we got nailed. We're gonna come back, we're gonna rebuild and we're gonna come back stronger than ever, hopefully. We got a lot of supplies from people that left. Um, you know, we're doing all right. We're just having a little campfire now, because why not? There's nothing else to do here. Yeah, most of the stuff we had, like in freezers or friends' freezers that left and left me their keys and uh, kind of ran around grabbing stuff. And it's just sort of uh, snowballed and a bunch of people showed up and we're just cooking some food because got to eat. Yeah, a lot of people have been looting. Yeah, we, we, you know, we're ready. That's why a lot of people are hanging out in this block at nighttime. They got the fires going to try to stop people from looting, coming in your house and everything. Well, you know, it's funny, we just took a picture with them in front of the water the other day, and the exact same ballwalk is right here. It's unbelievable. You just, uh, you never expect this stuff right here. Oh, it was terrible. It was a uh, bad storm. We probably should have left, but uh, you got to make sure, you know, everybody's all right here first. We have a lot of family here, and uh, just trying to dig out of it now, that's all. Yeah, it's been rough without the lights and electric, but, you know, we're surviving. Everybody's helping each other out, the neighbors, and trying to keep the kids occupied. But uh, we hope that some, uh, some help comes soon, some electric. He's trying to keep the spirit. <laughs> He's trying to have some fun still. And uh, just deal with it. That's all we can do, right? Just everybody's glad to be here. That's it. Well, we're going to see what happens if they fix it up. You know, we, no, we don't live, we don't work here. Everybody works out of the neighborhood. So as soon as they get transit going, it'll be better.